Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, do I have a video for you guys today. So if you've been using the Perplexity MCP, right, then definitely watch this video. If you use Perplexity at all in the API, definitely watch this video. Now, if you don't know, Perplexity uses their own model, Sonar Pro, in the API, okay? You cannot, no matter what you do, use any other model inside their API, right? And this is a huge weak point of Perplexity. The reason being is the Perplexity models are based on DeepSeek, and to be frank, they're not good enough, right? So they actually, they hallucinate, they make up information, they give you false information, etc., etc. But imagine if you had the power of Perplexity, but with a model like Gemini or Anthropic or whatever, right? just like you do on the front end of Perplexity. What I'm gonna show you today is you can use good LLMs, not inside Perplexity, but inside something like Perplexity, okay? No more completely terrible LLMs powering your web search. You can create huge JSON files of information for directories that you cannot create in any other way. Let's get into it. Now, for this video, you will need to know how to install MCPs. I do have videos on the channel completely for free, which will show you how to use or how to set up MCPs. We'll also be using Klein and Roo code, right? We'll be using Klein probably in this video. If, you don't, if you're confused by some of that, definitely check out the first link in the description, which will be a link to the school, where all of this is completely laid out for you in a completely legible and easy to use way. By the end of this, uh, course, you will easily be able to do everything in this video, but everything in this video is also available for free on my channel. You'll just have to go and find it for yourselves. With that being said, let's get into it. So I'm just going to give you a quick kind of uh, look at what you can get from using this. Okay. And we're actually, we're going to be using something called open router. So basically it's this feature here, open router web search. I didn't even know about this shout out to the guy who emailed me, but basically if you put dash online or uh, colon online at the end of which model you're using, you're literally connected to the internet, right? So I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just one second. And you can actually do quite a few different things. This is basically a replacement of perplexity if you were not aware. Now you can see that instead of just having a little bit of information about a spa in Texas. Yes, I'm still looking at spas in Texas. No reason, it's just, it's, it's a good um, niche, basically. You can see here that we have all of these different things. So resort name, location, resort type, website, description, amenities, name, right? All of these different things. You can see loads and loads of detail, more detail than you get from any other method. Now, the only thing is this doesn't get images, I, but that's totally fine. We can just use fetch HTML if we need images, which I'll show you again in this video. And then we have, look, we even have pricing, price per night, inclusions, notes, access to the pool barn, right? Mind body classes, all of this amazing detail, awards. You know, I didn't ask for this detail. I just, I just said, give me a 500 line JSON. I didn't tell it what to give me, right? Guest tips, right? So imagine you're making a directory and you can have tips from guests, right? No one else, no other method will give you this kind of detail, right? Even if you use Outscraper or a paid source of information. And on top of all of that, I'm actually using a completely free, currently free LLM for this. I'm using Open Router Optimus Alpha. If I go on my MCPs and show you what I have installed, you'll see I only have Brave and um, open router search turned on. These are my two MCPs that I'll be using in this video. And then I'll just grab this prompt right here. And we'll just go through the prompt. So this is how it works, right? Find me one spa in Texas. Give me a JSON. Okay, let's just say that is not Lake Austin spa, right? Give me a JSON. I like doing JSON because CSV seems a bit buggy of at least 500 lines, including images, etc., for a full-blown um, amount of interesting information about that spa. Now, one thing I'm just going to do is I'm just going to turn on fetch, right? I hope I don't regret this. I'm going to say use fetch um, HTML or markdown fetch markdown to find images. 
only use fetch for images, not for anything else, right? Use Brave to get a list of URLs, then open search for analysis. Ask broad questions, include images, find a spa in Texas and try and find out as much information, blah, blah, blah. And then this is the kind of cool thing down here, right? This is directly from the email that the guy sent me. So shout out to, I think, Stephen. Sorry, Simon or Simone, because it looks like you might be from Italy. So grazie assai, Simone, per questo. Um, for some reason, you can't leave comments on my channel. I'm not sure why, but sometimes that happens. And basically what he said was, um, what you can do is you can say, look, here's the URLs, right? Get a general idea or a general kind of extraction, just like Perplexity does, but with a good LLM model, right? That's the really, really cool thing here. Now, if I actually just go to, this is a custom built MCP, right? Again, all of this is in the uh, course on school. I haven't actually talked about on this, this on the channel yet, but you can make your own MCP very, very quickly and very, very easily, right? You'll see here, I have Optimus Alpha Online. I can change this to any model with, dash, uh, with a colon online, and that model now becomes an online model. That is so cool. This will really change people's perspective of what is possible here. So I'm going to be using Optimus Alpha with Optimus Alpha Online inside the MCP. I'm going to hit enter here. We're going to see what happens, right? So let's have a look. Now, hopefully this is going to create a brand new JSON. I don't want it to use any other. So we'll see here. I don't want it to use the same JSON. I want it to just be completely new. So best spa restaurants in Texas minus um, Lake Austin. There we go. It'll find one, I'm sure. From the Brave results, we've got Omni Barton. So let's just use Omni Barton. Fine. Next, I'm going to use Open Router, right? So analyze Omni Barton Creek and Resort, right? And then what it does is it asks a really, really general question. And then it summarizes all of the information that it finds online, just like Perplexity does, but with a good intelligent model, right? I must say I was really disappointed. I always have been disappointed by the Perplexity API and just because it's based on cheap Llama models and not based on something good like this model here, like Optimus Alpha or you know Gemini 2.5 Pro. It doesn't really matter what you use here. You can change this model, like I said, for absolutely anything. Okay, so look, that request timed out. I'm just gonna cancel this. I'm gonna go here, go to my install, and then uh, just click on, I think you can click here, right? No. Yeah, so once I retried that and there was no more red, I'll put this on timeout one hour, done. Say do it again, I increased the timeout. Please don't change the prompt. Right, so we'll just do the, we'll do this again. Probably because this is such a ridiculous prompt, right? So um, it, it needs time to actually find out all the information. Okay, so you can see here, this outputs a huge, huge amount of information, right? And look at this, right? So now what we can do is we can start to build on this or we can just use this, right? This has now scraped so many different websites for us almost instantly. This is an absolute game changer. I shout out again to Simone for showing me this. I'm saying Simone because I, I think you're Italian, um, just judging by your email and stuff. If you're not Italian, then just ignore me saying Simone. So now what it's doing is it's looking for images, right? Using um, HTML scraping. And then it should put all of that together into one ginormous uh, JSON file, which we could then use to populate the best spa directory in the world, right? So instead of just doing your bog standard shitty directory, what we're doing is we're making this absolutely insane monster, right? Like look at this information that we're going to be getting. And then you can, what you can do is you can use the same JSON for each spa, and then you can design a WordPress website around the JSON files, right? So you let the data guide the, oh my God, look at that. I got all of the TikTok and everything. You let the data guide the website, not the website guide the data, right? So we've got awards, policies, right? This is things that you will not find on other directories, okay? Um, you know, we've got ratings, FAQs, interesting facts, images, right? There's all these, there's all these things that you're just not going to find anywhere else that populates 
an entire page. If you just take this JSON, right, and think about how you would then approach like showing everyone this, right, or visualizing this, what this would look like. So look, this is um, brevity, 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 brevity. I don't like that at all. So now it's going round. Okay. It's just, yeah, putting all that stuff in. Beautiful. So yeah, you can see just how amazing this is, right? This is a really, really good way to do it. So I would probably add, like, don't put anything here for brevity or anything. But I mean, just as an example, this is fine, right? So it looks like you have to pay gratuity, which is ridiculous at Spa in my opinion. But, you know, I'm British. What the fuck do I know about gratuity? Uh, reservation, cancellation policy, late policy. Show me a directory that shows any of this information, right? So this is how you can rank on Google ahead of other people by giving better information. Even has, look, valet, parking, everything. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. This is completely nuts, right? This is, this is two prompts to extract all of that broad information from the internet in a much better way than Perplexity, right? I never really liked Perplexity's API. This is a better replacement for it. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.